ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम फर्स्ट कैंटो फिफ्थ चैप्टर टेक्स्ट नंबर इलेवन तद्वाग्विसर्गो जनता घविप्लवो यस्मिन प्रतिश्लोकम अबद्धवत्यपि नामान्यनंतस्य यशोंकितानियत शृण्वन्ति गायन्ति ग्रन्ति साधवः Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Translation. On the other hand, that literature which is full of descriptions of the transcendental glories of the name, fame, forms, pastimes, etc. of the unlimited Supreme Lord is a different creation, full of transcendental words directed toward bringing about a revolution in the impious lives of this world's misdirected civilization. Such transcendental literatures, even though imperfectly composed, are heard, sung, and accepted by purified men who are thoroughly honest. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. It is a qualification of the great thinkers to pick up the best even from the worst. It is said that the intelligent man should pick up nectar from a stalk of poison, should accept gold even from a filthy place, should accept a good and qualified wife even from an obscure family, and should accept a good lesson even from a man or from a teacher who comes from the untouchables. These are some of the ethical instructions for everyone in every place without exception. But a saint is far above the level of an ordinary man. He is always absorbed in glorifying the Supreme Lord because by broadcasting the holy name and fame of the Supreme Lord, the polluted atmosphere of the world will change and as a result of propagating the transcendental literatures like Srimad Bhagavatam, people will become sane in their transactions. While preparing this commentation on this particular stanza of Srimad Bhagavatam, we have a crisis before us. Our neighboring friend China has attacked the border of India with a militaristic spirit. We have practically no business in the political field. Yet, we see that previously there were both China and India and they both lived peacefully for centuries without ill feeling. The reason is that they lived those days in an atmosphere of God consciousness and every country over the surface of the world was God-fearing, pure-hearted and simple and there was no question of political diplomacy. There is no cause of quarrel between the two countries China and India over land which is not very suitable for habitation and certainly there is no cause for fighting on this issue. But due to the age of quarrel, Kali, which we have discussed, there is always a chance of quarrel on slight provocation. This is due not to the issue in question but to the polluted atmosphere of this age. Systematically there is propaganda by a section of people to stop glorification of the name and fame of the Supreme Lord. Therefore, there is a great need for disseminating the message of Srimad Bhagavatam all over the world. It is the duty of every responsible Indian to broadcast the transcendental message of Srimad Bhagavatam throughout the world to do all the supermost good as well as to bring about the desired peace in the world. Because India has failed in her duty by neglecting this responsible work, there is so much quarrel and trouble all over the world. We are confident that if the transcendental message of Srimad Bhagavatam is received only by the leading men of the world, certainly there will be a change of heart and naturally the people in general will follow them. The mass of people in general are tools in the hands of the modern politicians and leaders of the people. If there is a change of heart of the leaders only, certainly there will be a radical change in the atmosphere of the world. <coughs> We know that our honest attempt to present this great literature conveying transcendental messages for reviving the God consciousness of the people in general and re-spiritualizing the world atmosphere is fraught with many difficulties. Our presenting this matter in adequate language, especially a foreign language, will certainly fail and there will be so many literary discrepancies despite our honest attempt to present it in the proper way. But we are sure that with all our faults in this connection, the seriousness of the subject matter will be taken into consideration and the leaders of society will still accept this due to its being an honest attempt to glorify the Almighty God. When there is fire in a house, 
the inmates of the house go out to get help from the neighbors who may be foreigners and yet without knowing the language the victims of the fire express themselves and the neighbors understand the need even though not expressed in the same language the same spirit of cooperation is needed to broadcast this transcendental message of the Srimad Bhagavatam throughout the polluted atmosphere of the world. After all, it is a technical science of spiritual values and thus we are concerned with the techniques and not with the language. If the techniques of this great literature are understood by the people of the world, there will be success. When there are too many materialistic activities by the people in general all over the world, there is no wonder that a person or a nation attacks another person or nation on slight provocation. That is the rule of this age of Kali or Coral. The atmosphere is already polluted with corruption of all description and everyone knows it well. There are so many unwanted literatures full of materialistic ideas of sense gratification. In many countries there are bodies appointed by the state to detect and censor obscene literature. This means that neither the government nor the responsible leaders of the public want such literature, yet it is in the marketplace because the people want it for sense gratification. The people in general want to read, that is a natural instinct. But because their minds are polluted, they want such literatures. Under the circumstances, transcendental literature like Srimad Bhagavatam will not only diminish the activities of the corrupt mind of the people in general, but also it will supply food for their hankering after reading some interesting literature. In the beginning they may not like it because one suffering from jaundice is reluctant to take sugar candy, but we should know that sugar candy is the only remedy for jaundice. Similarly, let there be systematic propaganda for popularizing reading of the Bhagavad Gita and the Srimad Bhagavatam which will act like sugar candy for the jaundice-like condition of sense gratification. When men have a taste for this literature, the other literatures which are catering poison to society will then automatically cease. We are sure therefore that everyone in human society will welcome Srimad Bhagavatam even though it is now presented with so many faults for it is recommended by Sri Narada who has very kindly appeared in this chapter. The sense the Bhaktivedanta Purput. The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 1st Canto, 5th Chapter, Text Number 11, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 12th of September, 1973, in London, England. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, there is a description of the age of Kali. The age of this is age of Kali. According to Vedic understanding, there are four ages: Shatta Yuga, Dapar Yuga, and <coughs> Trita Yuga, and Kali Yuga. This age is called Kali Yuga. It has begun about 5,000 years ago after the battle of Kurukshetra. Uh, the duration of this Kali Yuga is estimated 400,000, 427,000th of years. Out of that we have passed only 5,000 years. So, the symptom of the human being in this age is that prayana alpha ayusha. People will become a very short duration of life. It is said that uh, time at the end of Kali Yuga the, if somebody lives for twenty to thirty years, he will be considered as very old man. <coughs> so gradually the food grains like rice, wheat, milk 
and sugar will disappear. Uh, in this way, uh, in the college of Prayana Alpaya Ayusha, Kalo Vasmin Juge Jana, in this age, people will be of short duration of life, manda, very slow, sumanda matayo, accepting some rubbish theology. Manda, sumanda matayo, manda bhagya, almost all of them are unfortunate. Manda bhagya, upadruta, over and above that, they will be disturbed. Uh, especially by lack of rain, lack of uh, scarcity of food grains, and overtaxed by the government. So much so that people will give up their hearth and home and go to the forest and hills in disappointment and confusion. So these are the symptoms of Kaliyo gradually degrading. So, this is also recommended uh, prayana uh, in the Srimad Bhagavad, in another chapter, twelfth canto, it is said, Kalo dosu nidhi rajan. These instructions were given by Sukhdev Goswami to Maharaj Parikhit. So he addressed the king, my dear king, this, in this age, the falls are like the ocean. Kalau dosu nidhi raja. Dosu nidhi. Nidhi means uh, ocean. The, it is, there are so many falls in this age that it can be accepted as the ocean of falls. Kalau dosu nidhi raja. Asti jheka mahan guna. There is one great opportunity. Uh, although it is full of faulty things, still there is one hope. That hope is Kirtanadeva Krishna Samukta Sangma Parambraje. If one simply chants the holy name of Krishna, Hare Krishna, then gradually he becomes purified from the contamination of this age. Uh, Kirtanadeva Krishna Mukta Sangha. He becomes free from the contamination of this age. Uh, it is just like vaccine. Uh, <clears throat> in contagious disease, there is vaccine, cholera. So, this mantra, Maha Mantra, this is not ordinary sound, this is spiritual. So by chanting this mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare one becomes free from the contamination of this age. And not only he becomes free from the contamination of this age, but Parangraja, he goes back to the spiritual world. Uh, we have no information in this age, at the present time, what is that spiritual world. But they are all stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Parastasmat bhavanya bhaktya bhaktya sanatana. Uh, everything is there in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is the preliminary study of spiritual life, uh, ABCD of spiritual life. The people cannot understand even the ABCD of Bhagavad Gita. Uh, and Srimad Bhagavatam is the graduate study. Uh, so everything is there. Unfortunately, uh, it was not uh, distributed. So our Krishna Consciousness Movement has started to distribute this literature, especially Srimad Bhagavatam. We have already translated about twenty books. Uh, they are present before you, and our aim is to uh, present to the human society Sixty books. The still translation is going on. So our request to the publishers and booksellers, 
that let this literature be distributed properly, people will be benefited. Uh, because after all, each and every human being is a spiritual being, he is not this body. Uh, that is the mistake of the present civilization. Uh, self. People, everyone thinks that this body, I am this body. Uh, if I ask any gentleman what you are, he will say, I am Mr. Such and Such. Uh, I am born in this country. Uh, I am American. I am Englishman. I am Indian. These are all bodily description. But basically, I am not this body. This is called illusion. Uh, you, you have got practical experience when one man's father or son or any relative dies, he cries, Oh, my son has gone away. My father has gone. That your father is lying there on the bed. How do you say that my father has gone away? That means the actual father he has never seen. He has seen the body only. Uh, and on this bodily conception of life, everything is being manipulated. This is called illusion. Therefore, in the Vedic literature it is stated, Jasyāta buddhi kunape iti dhātu ke sadhik kalatra dhisubhoma yujyadhi jatīrtha buddhi salile na karhichi janesu abhigyesu saiva gokha. Uh, a person who is in the bodily concept of life uh, and thinking uh, in bodily designation as everything, uh, nationalism or uh, Bhoma ijyadhi, bhoma on the land, ijyadhi, uh, the whole world is going on, worshipping the land in which he is born. But he does not know that he took birth in many lands, uh, not only in this land, in other planet also. But he does not know which land is his own land. Uh, this is called illusion. So, the world is going on under misconception of uh, self that I am this body. In the Bhagavad Gita, you will find the first instruction given by Krishna. Dehi nasmin jatha dehi kaumaram javunam jara. Tatha dehandra prati dhirastatanamaya. Asmin dehe in this body, there is the proprietor of the body, dehi, who possesses this body, but there is no information. Nobody knows. There is no education on this point. Uh, what is that proprietor of this body? Uh, they are simply going on, like cats and dogs. Cats and if you try to instruct a cat or dog, my dear dog, you are not this body. He will not understand. He is so grossly in ignorance, it is very difficult for him to understand that he is not this body. But human being, although at the present moment they are grossly ignorant for want of spiritual education, still because he is human being, he can be educated, he can be revived to his original consciousness, which is called Krishna consciousness. So, we are trying our bit, almost single-handed, although the important literatures are there, uh, Vedic literatures, four Vedas, Vedanta Sutra, eighteen Puranas, 108 Upanishads, then Ramayana, Mahabharata, so many full of knowledge, transcendental knowledge. They can be distributed all over the world, but there was no organized attempt. We are just began from 1966, this movement, Hare Krishna movement, or Krishna consciousness movement, 
distributing this literature uh, through literature of course we are very uh, um, hopeful our literatures are selling in london also uh, they sell at least 200 dollars a uh, pound in the street similarly in new york in uh, los angeles every city we are selling about uh, uh, 30 to 40000 rupees worth books daily and uh, people are appreciating uh, but e the publishers and the book sellers also help us in this movement then people will be very much benefited uh, that is our request uh, we have come to this uh, i mean book sellers office to request uh, of course uh, we have no means to advertise very much uh, but our advertisement is a sankirtan movement Uh, we go from city to city uh, street to street to uh, invoke uh, invoke the spiritual consciousness of man this there is already there in the chaitanya charitamrita it is said nitya siddha krishna bhakti sadh kabu no sabanaadi shuddha chitte karo udar it is simply awake the spiritual consciousness krishna consciousness is already there in everybody and otherwise how this european american and other foreign country boys and girls they are taking it is already there simply it has to be awakened uh, by this transcendental vibration uh, that transcendental vibration just like we are chanting this is one vibration and this books are bigger vibration uh, this is this when we chant hari krishna mantra a few words people can hear here is hari krishna but this uh, my guru maharaj used to say that this is brihat mridanga mridanga that drum you have seen that is small mridanga if i beat on this drum maybe a few words uh, people can hear from few words but this is the books that distributed uh, it can go from country to country from Uh, continent to continent, actually, it is so happening. So our only appeal is that uh, all booksellers, all publishers, may come forward and cooperate with us and distribute the transcendental literature. It is unique thought. Uh, they will find something sublime and will be benefited. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.